This is the ICS321 screencast for creating a virtual machine in VirtualBox and installing Ubuntu on it. So you have to start up your VirtualBox application and you will see this dialog box which is the VirtualBox Manager. Uh, click on New and uh, name your virtual machine. I'm just going to call it ICS321A. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm going to install Linux and Ubuntu 64-bit is what I want. Uh, now the recommended memory size uh, should be at, at least 2 gigabytes and I want it to be quite a bit more actually so if you uh, I think 2 will work, 3 is probably better um, just to be safe for, 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 for myself I'm going to do 4 gigabytes of RAM and um, you have to create a virtual hard drive so let's create it uh, I'm going to use the VDI this image, so click continue. Now I'm going to do fixed size because it is a bit faster, so let's go with that. And um, 8 gigabytes is not quite enough. So again, to be safe, I would say go for 12. Okay, go for 12. Uh, in fact, uh, let uh, let's go for 12. Okay, uh, go for 12. Um, you want you can you can do more uh, if you have enough disk space uh, in fact why not let's make it a bit more for 14 create okay and this will take a while uh, maybe 30 seconds half a minute so uh, that's not too bad of waiting time so um, this is basically creating a huge file um, that is going to be um, the uh, that will function as a virtual hard drive. Okay, um, so fixed size means that it's going to allocate that 14 gigabytes up front instead of allocating less and increasing it as needed. Okay, I think we're done. Now, um, now that we have created the machine with the power on, but remember there's no operating system uh, installed, so we will have to install, uh, we will have to attach a image of a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and install Ubuntu from there. So let's hit start. Uh, let me bring that in here. It says please select a optical, uh, optical disk file and mine is what well, I've done this before so it did that. But uh, uh, go to where you downloaded the Ubuntu um, ISO image. In this case it's here so I can actually just click and open it and start. All right, so it's going to boot from that image and um, it'll take a while but not too long. Okay, at, at different points in this installation process uh, I will pause when there's a lot when it takes a lot of time, so um, don't be alarmed if the video seems to just stop and then resume at a different place. Now you do want to be connected on the internet. Hopefully you're connected via wired internet because that will be much faster. Um, but you you should be connected, and this might take a while. Okay, so this is not a a 15 minute process. It might be a bit more than that. Now click install Ubuntu and uh, it asks for uh, here are the prerequisites. Uh, I'm not going to download updates because uh, this is just uh, too much. You can, you can do an update um, after you install. Okay, so uh, let's just make sure I'm doing the right thing. Uh, click continue. Oh, I'm using a smaller screen than it should. Erase this and install Ubuntu. That's what I want to do. Uh, click install now. So it's going to ask you to select a time zone. Honolulu is fine. Uh, English keyboard layout is absolutely fine. Oops. scroll down without knowing it. So type your name. I'm going to type in my name. 
the previous name, username, and that is uh, that is fine. Uh, choose a password. ICS321. And uh, require my login and my password. But probably no point encrypting this. Okay, now the installation uh, process starts. It's going to it's going to copy a lot of files. At some point, it's going to download some files. That's why you need the internet. Um, and so this will take a while. Okay, different screens will come on, um, and then at some point you'll be asked to. Uh, reboot um, and so at this point I'm going to uh, I'm just going to pause the recording and um, let the system let the installation process do its thing I will come back I'll resume the recording when the system has finished copying its files and ready to go to the next step now guys um, this downloading of language packs takes a really long time uh, if you do not you you have the option of not installing the language packs in which case you should click, click skip so I'm going to do that right now It still says it's downloading. Then click skip again. And let's see what happens. Okay, I think I successfully skipped the language packs. So it's configuring hardware now. Hopefully I didn't click one too many times, in which case I might have skipped something that I shouldn't be skipping. So now we have to restart. So you should try to restart it. And hopefully it's going to be a smooth restart. So it says uh, press enter. So let's hit enter. Get rid of those messages. Okay, so um, it looks like everything was successful. So now I can log in with your password. You have set. You can just wait a few minutes for it to boot up. And um, so this is your Ubuntu desktop. Okay, now um, uh, there's a Firefox browser. You can also install Chromium, Chrome if you want, uh, but we're not going to be using the browser much here, so I'll just stick with the uh, Firefox. Uh, this is like a file explorer of sorts. Uh, the thing that we'll use a lot is Terminal, so I'm just going to show that to you. Terminal. Uh, once you terminal, it gives you a uh, shell prompt, a command prompt, um, ls list the files. So this is the files in my home directory. Um, PWD tells me print working directory. This my directory is slash home slash libyao. Okay, uh, most downloads will go into downloads and there's probably nothing there right now and so on. Okay, so um, at this point you should try to clone 
your uh, Ubuntu machine. Actually, no, one more thing you should try and do, which I'm not going to completely um, re record in this screencast. Um, so, okay, so here I detected my incomplete um, language support. So you can you can do this uh, at your own time. Um, but like I say, it takes a long time, so I'm not going to do it. Now, you should also scroll down. Um, there is a software updater. So at some point, when you have time, again, you should run this software updater. Again, leave it overnight to, in, to download and install all the updates that you need. Um, and then uh, your system will be completely updated. Once it's updated, I recommend that we, you clone this virtual machine. Basically, make a backup of it. Okay, so that in case anything goes wrong, you have you have backups. Okay, that and the backup will have exactly the same state. You have all the software that you installed. All right. So uh, this is this is the end of this screencast. Um, look out for the next one, which is installing Oracle.